let me go up there. Good afternoon. I call to order the regular meeting of the Board of Public Works for November 12, 2020. Roll call. Val Gomez. Present. William Allen. Present. Lena Guzman. Present. Okay, we have, next on our agenda, we have the minutes of the regular meeting of October 28, 2020. We entertain the motion to approve as written. Okay. Second. Uh, USA. Yeah, I'll here. Okay. So I'll make the motion. Yeah. Second. You a second? Roll call. Deb Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Uh, okay. Wiener Guzman. Yes. Okay. Uh, we have no correspondence. We'll move on to new business. First item on our agenda is surplus items in the fire department. I have a letter from the chief. Please see attached letter, list of items. I'm asking for you to be declared surplus at the next Board of Works meeting. Uh, I declare the attached list of items from our inventory room and throughout our facilities as surplus. These items are broken and obsolete. We're trying to clean out our inventory room in all, all of our facilities. And he includes a short list of equipment. Uh, it looks like mostly electronics, mm -hmm. radio parts. Are there any questions or comments on his surplus request? None. <clears throat> there being no further questions or comments, there's a motion to approve. Fire Chief's uh, request to declare certain uh, items as broken and obsolete and surplus. So moved. Second. Roll call. Del Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Lena Guzman. Yes. Okay, next we have outstanding invoices. We only have one from Hastings from Fire. We have four invoices dated from 6 2020. They're all from the same date. For a total of $1,375. Uh, the reason the invoices are mailed by the vendor but never reached, they're received. Vendor resubmitted invoices in October. Uh, the fire chief, uh, Serna, was unable to come. He did speak with me. He said the invoices were actually sent to City Hall. And by the time they received them, that's when they were. They got lost between here and there. So, but he did say all the services were rendered to his satisfaction. Are there any questions or comments? No. If you have no further questions or comments, I entertain a motion to approve the late invoices with Hastings and the fire department. So moved. Second. Roll call. Del Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Lena Guzman. Yes. Okay, next we have Western Utility, change order number two, phase two, Chicago Avenue, Columbus Drive. This is a um, condo and a fiber project. Uh, I have from Kevin Klosak, our IT director. He did send a letter for his items. This, is change, this change order is for phase two, Chicago Avenue, Columbus Drive, condo and fiber project. There is a repair needed to the conduct that crosses the Columbus Drive Bridge between Euclid Avenue and Alexander on the south side of the bridge. The conduct break has prevented us from completing the fire installation portion of the project. NDOT has given permission to repair the conduit since it is an NDOT pipe that the city has an agreement to access. Change amount for this order, change amount for this order is $3,183.30. And the overall change for the project remains at an 11% credit amount. And the total amount is 782,176.81. Okay, so are there any questions or comments on this change order? None. No. There being no further questions or comments, I'm taking a motion to approve. Let's um, see until the change order number two for phase two Chicago Avenue Columbus Drive conduit fire project. Someone. Second. Roll call. Del Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Lena Guzman. Yes. Okay, next we have. Okay, from Cronus Time Clock Annual Support Renewal from IT. Uh, letter from Kevin Kosek again. Cronus Time Clock Annual Support Renewal. This is an agreement for renewal of the annual Cronus Time Clock Support. For the 36 clocks we have throughout the city for collecting time punches in a chrono system. 
Okay, so it's an annual. Uh, it seems the amount is six thousand ninety-seven dollars and fifty-three cents. Any questions or comments on this proposal? No. Yeah. No. There being no further questions or comments, we can motion to approve Cohen's time block annual support renewal. So moved. Second. Roll call. Del Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Weena Guzman. Yes. Okay, next we have also from Cronus Time Clock. Cronus Timekeeping Annual Support and Posting Services. Okay, and from Kevin Kosak, another letter. Time Cronus Timekeeping Annual Support and Hosting Services. This agreement is for renewal of the 2020 to 2021 annual Cronus Posting Support Services for our Cronus Timekeeping. Solution managed by Rob Johnson as part of the processing payroll for the city. Oh, payroll, you gotta get this one passed. Okay, any questions or comments on this one? No. No. There being no further questions or comments, I entertain a motion to approve the Cronus Timekeeping Annual Support and Hosting Services. So Second. Roll call. Del Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Weena Guzman. Yes. Next we have we have DNR site services from building. Okay, we have a letter from our building commissioner, James. James, you're here. Yeah. Uh, Agents for the building permit in this board works with me to request that Mr. Laros? Larios. Larios of 3860 million, the cost of for repairs to the building of damage during the demolition at the cost of $7,193.25. This will be taken from the amount that was bidded out to DNR site services, which, which was originally 38203 and as a result, DNR site services will be paid $31,009.75. So the prop, during demolition, they damaged the property. And we also have a letter from our law department, our uh, city attorney, Carla. So she was informed, the law department was informed that uh, yes. what happened. Yes, both the owners and the contractor received letters. Okay. So I think we spoke to this before, so you will speak with my office on what paperwork we need, because the check, I understand, is supposed to go directly to yes, um, the, the Larios. Farmers. Okay. Are there any questions or comments on this proposal? No. Okay. Um, do you have any further? And uh, Wiener, you okay? Yeah. Okay. okay. If there are no further questions or comments, I entertain a motion to approve the payment to Mr. Larios of 3816 Main Street, the cost of repairs to his building due to damage from the demolition, in the amount of $7,193.25. So, Second. Roll call. Bill Gomez? Yes. William Allen? Yes. Weena Guzman? Yes. Great. Okay. Thank you. And, and did you want to also make a motion to decree to pay DNR the remaining or not? This P, you already had his PO, right? Everything was a so PO you bid, when you bid for the property? Yes. Okay. I don't think we have to do anything else. You're just going to subtract that from the Correct. Okay. That's why I'm to Thank you. Okay. Okay, next we have the 2020 rate tables for public works. And they have the rate tables that will be in effect for the new year from January to December. Uh, the rate tables that uh, total work submitted are for overhead door, uh, micro, macro, macro collision, macro collision, reef and riding, rush truck center, outdoor for Autofer CAT, Best Equipment Company Incorporated. KMN Weiss Solve Installations, Trans Chicago Truck, Industrial Door Company, Standard Equipment, Cam Tree Service, 
mechanical concepts, precision control system. Any questions or comments on the 2021 rate tables from these companies from Public Works? No. No. Okay. There be no further questions or comments. I entertain a motion to approve the rate schedules for 2001 for the four mentioned companies for public works from January to December. So moved. Second. Roll call. Dow Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Wiener Guzman. Yes. Okay, next we come to. Fence Masters from Public Works. This is a six foot chain link float, removing 19 feet of six foot chain link fence and installing the double gates with barbed wire on top at a Nipsco power station. Fence includes five year labor warranty and rust warranty. This court includes all material labor and taxes, amount $4,634. Uh, according to Mr. Salvi, this is an emergency appeal to provide access to the Mexico substation fencing area immediately, immediately, immediately due to the street widening of Guthrie Street project. Are there any questions or comments on this emergency fence relocation? No. No. There being no further question or comment, I entertain a motion to approve the proposal from Fence Masters for the emergency fence relocation in the amount of four thousand six hundred thirty-four dollars. So moved. Second. Roll call. Matt Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Lena Coulson. Yes. And next we have Gallery Equipment it's from Public Works. This is below our labor rate per hour for the East Chicago Marina. Okay, it was a rate schedule, straight time rate of 125 per hour, Monday through Friday, 8, 8 to 4.30, overtime $187.50 per hour, Monday through Friday. That's for after 4.30 and before 8 a.m. and Saturdays. Double time rate of 250 per hour on holidays and Sundays. And this is for the Marina Galway Equipment Company. If we have anything else on this, are there any questions or comments? No. No. If there be no further questions or comments, I'm taking the motion to approve Galway Equipment's proposal with their labor rate schedules for each Chicago Arena. So Second. Welcome. Sam Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Lena Guzman. Yes. Okay, next we have from CNH Baseball Incorporated, change order number one from Public Works. This is for Block Stadium. Uh, description additional netting and padding materials, reason for change order, change in the scope of work. Attach Mr. Salvi already listed on his labor and equipment to repair storm sewer inlet. Oh, wait a minute, is that it? No, additional netting and padding materials. So that would be for $22,068.34. Any questions or comments on this change order? Questions or comments? I obtain a motion to approve CMH Baseball Incorporated change order number one for Block Stadium uh, for additional netting and padding with uh, Public Works in the amount of $22,068.34. So moved. Second. Roll call. Val Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Lena Guzman. Yes. Okay, next we have Resolution 2020-39, MOU, Teamsters Local Union, 
a resolution of the Chicago Board of Public Works regarding the MOU with Teamsters and Local Union, Union 142 regarding overtime and emergencies. Whereas from time to time due to weather events, including major snow and ice storm, ice storms, flooding, and passable roads, and or alleys due to weather or debris and other unforeseen emergencies, the Department of Public Works has need of additional or emergency labor beyond the normal workforce and or beyond normal working hours in order to keep roads and alleys impassable for residents and others. Whereas recent weather related events, the Department of Public Works has been unable to call out staff in sufficient numbers to timely address emergency and unsafe conditions, such as that the roads or alleys are blocked, cluttered, and unsanitary conditions persisted for extended periods of time. Whereas the Director of Public Works, um, and the Teamsters Local Union 142 have recognized the challenge of labor shortages and emergencies and the need to timely address unsafe conditions and propose a solution, which is reflected in the document entitled M Memorandum of Understanding between the Teamsters Local Union 142 and the City of Chicago, Indiana, which is attached hereafter. Whereas the MOU provides an improvement part as follows the Union and the City of Chicago. Chicago, Indiana hereby agree that when it is determined by management that if an emergency needs to be declared in order to save life or property, such emergency will be identified as follows. Major ice, snow, snow storm, flooding, and passable roads, alleys due to storms and debris. It will be at the direction of the director whether or not an all call out is in order. To effect an all call out is in order, the following procedure will take place which only pertains to job continuous staying over to perform emergency work. It is mutually agreed that seniority will be recognized as management, the management director of an emergency call or all call is given, all employees will be required to work. In cases where partial call is required, reverse seniority will be implemented in a case where most senior employees choose not to work. Whereas the MOU will allow the director to extend shifts for staff who are on duty and the necessary calling staff to work additional hours or shifts with eligible staff who have, who have worked the requisition number of hours during the pay period earning overtime. Whereas the Board of Public Works believe that, believes that the MOU will help to alleviate labor shortages <coughs> and provide more timely and effective services to residents when the city faces adverse weather events and their emergencies. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the East Chicago Board of Public Works that it hereby approves the MOU with Teamsters Local Union Number 142, which is outlined above and attached here to and authorizes the President of the Board of Works to ex execute the agreement on behalf of the Board of Public Works. Certified and adopted by the Board of Public Works in the City of Chicago, Lake County, Indiana, this 12th day of November. 2020. Any questions or comments on resolution 2020-39? No. There be no further questions or comments. I have a motion to approve resolution 2020-39. Second. Second. Roll call. Bill Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. William Guzman. Yes. Okay. Now we come to resolution 2020. Of 20-40, 5300 block of Indianapolis Boulevard staging. Okay, resolution of Chicago Board of Public Works regarding the letter of agreement with the Western Union LLC for use of 5300 Indianapolis Boulevard for the staging area. Whereas, whereas utility, Western Utility LLC has proposed to use a portion of their property for staging from April 1st, 2020 through September 30, 2020, in exchange pay the city the sum of $500 per month for use of their property. Whereas the sum and substance of Western Utility's proposal to use the property for staging, for staging to restore the property and pay the city for its use reflected in the attached letter of agreement, which is attached here too. Whereas the Board of Public Works believes that Western Utility LLC described the use of the property in exchange for payment of $500 per month is an overall benefit to the city. Now, therefore, be resolved by the city by the Chicago Board of Public Works that it hereby approves the attached order of agreement reflecting Western Utilities LLC intent 
the use of certain property exchange for property payments to the city of Fountain for a month. To authorize, to the city authorize the president of the Board of Public Works or the city computer systems administrator to execute the letter agreement on behalf of the Board of Public Works. Adopted on this 12th day of November 2020. Any questions or comments on resolution 2020 40? No. Mm -hmm. no. There'd be no further questions or comments. I'm taking a motion to approve resolution 2020 40. So moved. Second. Roll call. John Coleman? Yes. William Allen? Yes. Lena Guzman? Yes. Okay, next we come to resolution 2020 41. A resolution Chicago Board of Public Works regarding the letter of agreement with Gord, Gordon? Gordon Clark. Gordon Clark Incorporated for the use of 3710 Pulaski as a staging area. Whereas Gordon Clark Incorporated is constructing the UT Holding Building located on the adjacent property located at 2301 Broadway and has proposed to use a portion of the property for staging. July 1st, 2020 through April 1st, 2020, in exchange for the city some five hundred dollars per month for the use of property. And whereas Oregon Clark timely entered into a similar agreement for use of 3710 Pulaski property with the Chicago Department of Redevelopment until it's discovered that the city and the Board of Public Works was in fact own the Board of Public Works was in fact the owner of the property, so that there is not a need to execute a similar agreement for the use of the parcel of 3710 Pulaski as described here in retro to July 1st, 2020. And whereas a sum of substance of court and Clark's proposal to use a property for stage and restore the property and pay the city for its use is reflected in the attached letter agreement. Okay, so now there be a result that as each Chicago board for the work that is hereby approves the attached letter agreement reflecting Organ Clark's incorporated intended use and restoration of the property exchange for, for payments to the city of $500 per month to the city and authorizes the president of the board of public works to execute the letter of agreement on behalf of the board of public works. Certified as 12th day of November 2020. Any questions or comments on resolution 2020 I notice that these resolutions repeat themselves like four times. <laughs> Can I? One, did you say from July to April to 2020? It's the April 2021, no? Yep, it does say that. Yep, July, it does say, did I say 2020? Okay. Yes. Okay, so it is from July 1st, 2020 to April 1st. 2021. Correct. Right. Okay. Any other questions or comments? No. No. Okay. Roll call. Uh, entertain a motion to approve resolution 2020 41. So moved. Second. Roll call. Al Coleman. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Lena Guzman. Yes. Okay. Next we come to Lakemark change order number one. Landmark change order number one is for that sign project. The change order, the reason for change order, electrical and current agreement is for $15,639.59. Uh, because they found out that the cost would be more in more in the range of $35,000. So the net increase of this change order would be $19,360.41. And this is for that sign project around for various on various locations throughout the city. Yeah, they, they gotta install electrical feeds for all eight signs. Okay. Any questions or comments on this change order? No. No. There being no further questions or comments, we entertain a motion to approve. Landmark change order number one for the East Chicago sign project. So moved. Second. Roll call. Val Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Luna Guzman. Yes. Okay, next we have Techno Metal Post Block Little League Concessions Building. This is from Engineering. 
But this is structural work that's needed in order to stabilize the uh, Little League Concessions building. Uh, right now, the structure is failing. So for the amount of $36,000, they'll put in a number of helical piles uh, around the perimeter of the building. Uh, in that $36,000 total, uh, it's going to cost $2,100 to uh, provide some corrosion patrol, uh, protection. Okay. Any further questions or comments on this proposal? No. There being no further questions or comments, I have a motion to approve Technos Metal, metal Post proposal for Block Little League Concessions Building. Concessions building. Mm -hmm. So moved. Second. Roll call. Bill Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Rena Guzman. Yes. And next we have site services change order number one. So uh, Parish Avenue between Michigan Avenue and Broadway uh, was in need of uh, mailing paint. As they were mailing, they came across uh, some underground uh, tarp. Uh, which, as a result, led to us having to mill a little bit deeper in order to get that taken out um, and asphalt was put back in its place. Uh, this led to an increase of $3,301.85. Okay. Any questions or comments on this project? No. There being no further questions or comments, turn that motion to approve the Parish Avenue Resurfacing Program Change Order Number One in the amount of three thousand three hundred one dollars and eighty-five cents. So moved. Second. Roll call. Bell Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. William Gosling. Yes. Okay. Next we have from Lease Engineering, 2019 East Chicago Resurfacing Project, additional phase. This for engineering. There's additional work that needs to go into preparing the bidding documents um, for our uh, Ivy, Ivy Hemlock uh, project that uh, will be since contracted uh, with, with Rita and Ivy and that we are planning on beginning uh, this year carrying over to the next one. Uh, in the amount of $20,752. Uh, okay, any questions or comments? No. There being no further questions or comments, we're saying motion to approve the Nice Engineer's proposal for an additional $20,752 for the 2019 Chicago Surfacing Project for additional engineering services. Uh, so moved. Second. Roll call. Bell Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Lena Gosling. Yes. Okay, next we have from First Group Engineering, Sewer Clean, Alter, and Roxana Design Services. This is, oh, I'm sorry, this is uh, for design services for first group to help the city uh, when it comes to executing the two following projects, uh, Alder, uh, sewer cleaning and television from uh, Broadway to Gary Road, and then um, the, sewer, the, the cleaning and television uh, lining of Roto Roxana uh, sewer system. And the amount for both these is $90,769.91. Uh, $90, okay, okay, any questions or comments on First Group Engineering's proposal? No. There being no further questions or comments, I'm going motion to approve First Group's in Engineering for additional design services in the amount of $9,769.91. So moved. Second. Roll call. Bill Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Lena Guzman. Yes. Okay, next we have R&R &R Visual, Alder Street Interceptor Cleaning and Verification from Broadway Street to Gary Road from Engineering. So this is the contract between the city and R&R &R Visual. It's in the amount of $1,852. $1,535 uh, to clean and televise our sewer and water. Uh, 
on this one, do you want us to approve the contract? I know there's a notice to award, notice to proceed. Yeah, we'll, we'll be approving the contract. Just the contract for him? Yeah. Okay, in the future date, the notice to proceed? Or? No, I'm sorry, the contract, the notice to proceed, yeah. And the notice to award? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, any further questions or comments? No. There be no further questions or comments. We have a motion to approve the contract agreement, the notice to award, and the notice to proceed when R and R for the visual for the Alder Street interceptor clean and verification from Broadway Street to Gary Road. So, so move. Second. Roll call. Bell Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Nina Gooser. Yes. Okay. Next we have uh, R and D striping of Columbus Drive. We're actually going to table this item. The table. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, that brings us to right away applications. We have right away applications number 20-03676 through 20-03687. Are there any questions or comments on these permit applications? No. no. There be no further questions or comments, there's a motion to approve for the public works permit applications 20-03676 and 20-03687. Second. Welcome. Welcome, Miss. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Lena Guzman. Yes. Okay, that concludes the new business. I believe we have no other business. Our next regular meeting will be Wednesday, November 25th, 2020 at 4.30 p.m. As that concludes our business, I'm taking a motion for an adjournment. Second. Roll call. Val Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Lena Guzman. Yes.